Yeah, I'm fighting legend Josie Aldo. So he has more experience, of course, but I have to do my job, I have to win. This is so important for my country. I can change so many people's life. Everything is possible, you know, just believe yourself, uh, just follow your dream. Opportunity will come, victories will come, and success will come. Life is beautiful. I don't like car, you know, like sometimes my, if my friends here, they can come, grab, grab the key from the car, boom, go shopping, come back, easy, you know. Not too much headache, I don't have to like car. Georgian, like people will say, gangsters, they don't, they don't like house and they don't like car. <laughs> so I'm a little gangster here in Vegas. <laughs> Yeah, now we're going to syndicate MMA. There is MMA pro practice, uh, morning 11.30. Um, we are a little bit late now, but we should be fine. I feel great, like, uh, like I said, I'm eating, I'm good, you know? I have energy, but I'm gonna stop eating on, uh, on Sunday. I'm gonna cut weight, like old style, like without food and without drink too much and just work out, just work out, work out, work out. Like, I don't like new style, I cut weight, I can drink a lot of water. I cannot do it this way because I cannot drink too much water, I don't know. Like, the Saturday I will have like nine kilos and since then I'm gonna go. Every day I'm gonna cut two kilos. Yeah, and then I'll be there. Yeah, it's actually our card. Myself and Josie Aldo. It's gonna be fun fight. Even this desert is still nice, beautiful, like the, the, the mountains. It's like Georgia, it's more green. This is desert, but still, still nice, you know? You know what good thing is about Vegas? You can always do, go hiking or run into the mountains, you know, it's good for cardio. And just it's something to have fun. Always you can go, psh, lost somewhere. Boom. Okay guys, I drive you safe. We are a little bit late. They don't like when you're late. Like, but yeah, we're still late, like five, six minutes. Okay. Yeah. Kari shay, leba amerios, fillaba aya. It's a sit what be am dimes out there bazo psaro. We nam abo ima datsala trim bites of malo. Me turk in that dam chir das at rats were mewli a cargo. Pick up bears luna hame parrot while we live starkos. Shama jado karma mutra. I didn't know. I just wanted you to feel that uh, almost okay. the green. <laughs> 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 What? Even when we drill, he still makes me tired. <laughs> Even if it's drill. He balances his weight very well. This guy, this guy coming out from vacation, that's why he gets tired. <laughs> no, no. We'll be training hard. The skill you have, so balancing your weight is very good. Try, try. Me and Mirab, we met each other, like, I think in 2011, when I started training. Uh, matter of fact, uh, he was the first guy I sparred ever in my life. I really liked the way he used to fight back then. He was like as crazy as he is right now, with a good spy, uh, fighting spirit and good energy. I remember his fight. He took somebody down and just destroyed him in the ground. It impressed me so much that I really wanted to get into this sport more. 
Georgia has a huge potential in this sport. Imagine right now in the world we are like less than 5 million people and we have like seven fighters already in UFC and um, I mean there are so many other countries which have like over 50 million population they don't even have one fighter in UFC. I mean it's in our blood and whole whole our existence we used to be in war and uh, it's just we are built for this you know. Jose Aldo is dangerous everywhere he has everything ground game stand up kicks punches. I truly believe in my bottom of heart that we can beat this guy. Even though he's my favorite fighter, I love him. Uh, uh, I truly believe that Marab will be victorious at that day. So in my mind, I think his willpower is um, way, way above many UFC fighters. That's what makes him special. Marab's one of those um, crazy unique characters where technically he does a lot of things differently, but he makes them work and it's, it's controlled chaos. He's like a little Tasmanian devil when he gets out there. And that has got him to where he's at in his career. You know, so as a coach, you don't want to change too many things when something gets you to the dance, gets you to the big show and goes and has success. You don't really want to change that with somebody. You want to learn how to focus and make it better. Maybe you sharpen up some of that chaos. Maybe you kind of polish a little bit of it. But he's a very unique and special character on the mat and just does things that other people don't do. He's a great training partner for our guys. He's go, go, go. He's always going to show up. He's always going to be there. He's probably late, but he's going to, you know, but he's going to be there and he's going to give my guys good work. So he brings a great push, a great drive mentality to the team. You know, he's just a good training partner. Syndicate on three. One, two, three, syndicate. I think he's looking like a animal right now. That's a hard pace to keep with. And a lot of those shots, he's not throwing because we got all the pads and shit, but those knees don't feel good. Landing him in a great spot. I think he's more than ready. He shows up like smart, like he's doing in here. <laughs> at one point you just started running after him. Yeah. <laughs> I was like, let me at least try to catch my breath. So I just like circling, 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 like, hey, my arms are heavy. Yeah, that's good. See, Aldo's not going to do that, though. He's going to get, he's going to slow down. He maybe cut an angle, but then he's going to stand right there. Yeah. He's going to stand right there. And then I'm going to count every time he's going to punch, I'm going to count. Yeah. My first impression of Marab was that this kid is an extremely hard worker. He doesn't give up. And he just has this attitude about him that's just like never say die kind of thing. And uh, when you mix that in with his work ethic, it's just uh, a beautiful recipe for success. I think we became friends pretty quickly. We weren't like hanging out all the time in the very beginning. I was still uh, up and coming myself, still trying to make my way through the ranks as well and uh, just find my way in the UFC. As time passed, we eventually became closer. We became more of uh, direct training partners where we were pretty much training with each other all the time. I think that's what helped build the relationship a lot more. In Georgia, Marab is the mayor. He can't do no wrong in that country. That guy can do whatever he wants over there. Everyone knows who he is, no matter where we were going. Uh, we're going to the mountains, we're going to the restaurants. People stopped and recognized him, um, stopped him to take pictures. I was like, man, I wish it was like this in the States for American fighters. I think Marab's upcoming fight with Jose Aldo is gonna be one that the fans do not wanna miss. Jose's gonna come out strong in the very beginning, which he always does, but then Marab, as usual, puts on a pace like no other. He slows his opponents down and eventually they cave to the machines. His pace, his pressure, his attitude, his work ethic is going to be second to none. And I'm super excited for him and the opportunity that he has in front of him to 
really solidify himself and his name as one of the best guys in the Bantamweight division and in the world. Front of me, jab, jab. I'm gonna head movement. Hey, boom, boom, ba, 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 ba. boom. No, last part, take it out. <laughs> yeah, no kick like this. No, 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 In the right. stomach. In the stomach. Gonna... I'm gonna break him. I'm gonna make him tired, man. Come on, I'm training here. You know. That's it. Up the front. Hey. <laughs> I just wanna like this win. I wanna win, man. Hey, I love Josie Aldo is one of those my favorite fighter, and uh, it's a pleasure to fight him. But like, I know he wants to punch me in the face. I'm not gonna let him do it. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna fight, fight back, and I'm gonna be dominant, and I'm gonna win this fight. You know, I, I love him, but it's a fight. I'm fighting for my family. Just held the fighting from his family and his country and uh, we'll see, I'm gonna do my best and I know when I do my best it's gonna be my day and it's gonna be a big victory for us. <laughs> Fun time next next sal next Friday from next Friday will be so much easier. I can eat all I want. I can be happy, drink. Yeah, weight cut it sucks, but after weight cuts everything is good. Let's go. It's like a lot of motions going, and uh, like you know, in uh, in one hour you have to you have a biggest fight in your career, and you have to perform good. You know, you can't. You have to left everything in the octagon. You have to focus all, all everything you was training. So the time is very important. But right before fight, you have to fight and you have to focus yourself because there is so many people waiting for you. Like, and uh, you felt all the pressure the fight day. Then everybody wants to win, and uh, it's like we are feeling. You know? We are calling Sidik now and it's gonna be it's gonna be a good fight so, so he's from Dagestan, Dagestan wrestling, you know? So strong, so strong. We used to training in New York together. Now he moved, he moved to Florida, Miami, but we still friends and brothers and uh, now he came to Vegas to fight and of course we are supporting him. Boom. Yes. Right there. Yeah, but I can I can do like this. Yeah, you can try. No, I can do like here. Here I can do. Huh? Yes, you can see. But when fight, yeah, yeah. just hard. Boom. Shit, I'm getting nervous. <laughs> I'll be I'll be next week like this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Interesting. You don't see that too often. No. Oh, dang. Yeah. Oh, no. Oh, dang. Oh, dang. Wrestling. Wrestling. <laughs> wrestling wins fights, bro. Wrestling. <laughs> Still not 10-8. And he got takedowns as well. So it's like, on. yeah, so it's like, what the fuck's a 10-8? The ref has to be like about to stop the fight. Yeah, uh, yeah. I know it's not boxing, but they use boxing yeah. scoring. So it's like, what are we doing? We don't know how they score. Nobody knows this shit. Thank you, everybody. Second round, forget. Second round. I don't know how you were wrong because you used too much energy, you know, for for takedown, but no, no ground down. No, no, no. Yeah. I know that Piggy and Puffy are here tonight. Um, did you see them? Do you have anything to say to them at all? Nah, but if we even if we saw them, we not. We are businessmen. We are not animals. It's not like we're gonna see them and rush them and jump on them. And so if they want to come and use this business opportunity, one week left exactly. They're still sparring. Still sparring with champion. I'll jump my stand. Let's go. I bet you got it twisted, you don't know who to trust So many player hating niggas trying to sound like us Say they ready for the front, but I don't think they know it Straight to the depths of hell is where those cows going Well, all you still down, nigga, holler when you see me And let these devils be soft for the day they finally free me I got a caravan of niggas every time we ride Hitting motherfuckers up when we pass by Until I die, live the life of a boss player Cause even when I'm high, fuck with me and get crossed later The future's in my eyes all I want is cash and things I vibe double low Bands wantin' flashy ranks uh, Bitches pursue me like a dream Been known to disappear before your eyes It's like a dope beam It seems my main thing was to be major Paid the game sharper than the motherfucking grades of play Save money, bring bitches Bitches bring lies One nigga's getting jealous and motherfuckers die Depend on me like the first and fifteen They might hold me for a second But these ones won't get me We got four niggas and low rocks And ski masks screaming thug like Every time they pass all eyes Great sparring! Yeah. Just one week left. Let's go out fresh. Nothing serious injury. I feel amazing. Yeah. I'm excited. This is gonna be a good one for us. For my team, for my country, for my people, my supporters around the world. I'm a little machine. Let's go. We'll see. It's coming. I appreciate it. Thank you. Come here, please. Yeah, a lot of good work. I'm really good training, good. hard pace, good takedowns, good entries, make me work, make me tired, take me down. I get back up, throw, throw punches, take me down again. Yeah. Pressure all day. I feel like he let he let me let me let me do better today. He don't he don't do it. <laughs> one, one, one week is away and then he he let me work more. So but thank you so much for all the work. We're gonna win this and we're gonna win. We'll fight 
just like me, brother. Where is he? Yes, sir, baby. I'm just gonna take his back and uh, 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 like this. <laughs> yeah, and then oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my. It's okay, it's okay. Joy. Now, little machine. <laughs> Jose Aldo Jr. I see you in the act again. It's gonna be good one, I know. You're a legend, but now it's my time. I'm sorry. Be ready. I'm coming for you. This is why from behind my giant robot's eyes. I keep him happy cause the mic fall out if he cries. Scared of heights so I might pass out if he flies. Keep him all autopilot cause I can't drive. Room enough for one, I tell my homies they can't ride. Unless we're sitting on the shoulders, but that's way too high. Let's try. Well, it's so I, I will be here <laughs> Come on everybody, let's make cocaine cool We need a few more half-naked women up in the pool And hold this Mac-10 that's all covered in jewels And can you please put your titties closer to the 22s And where's the champagne? We need champagne Now look as hard as you can with this blunt in your hand And now hold up your chains, slow motion through the flames Now cue the smoke machines and the simulator rain Turn my back on what got you paid I couldn't see, had the hood on me like I blew great But I like to thank the streets that drove me crazy And all the televisions out there that breaks me I was in You can axe kick like this, not go something you do, yeah. but stomping straight down is something you can't do. You cannot do this, no. no. You see what kind of plan this man has? He's just like, can I just stomp this man's rib cage in real fast? No big deal. It's like, what? I don't see the problem. I've been dealing with this for weeks now. This is ridiculous. Alright? Welcome to my world, alright? I don't speak English, that's fine. And this guy tossed me in the air like I was a child the other day. Or shit, I had time to think on the way down. You ever see like the videos of people like, you were probably wondering how I got here. That's how you fucking got me here. Stop bullying me, my friend. Stop bullying me. I'm not bullying you. I'm not bullying you. This guy eating burgers and now tries to... Georgian historian. Writing history. Yeah, but you're bullying me now. No, what you talking about? I'm joking, I'm joking, yeah. But you know, half of joke is true, so. <laughs> <laughs> that I've met, they're about as close to New Yorkers that I've ever seen. I, I don't know if that, I don't know what the reason is, but there's, they're all just, they're, I've never they're, met a, not they're all, they're all they're great. Always, they're all nice. They're all great people. Marab was always just super warm, super friendly, but always very uh, like intense in training. Yeah. But again, just super, you could tell he was very genuine, just very nice. And uh, I liked them right off the bat. Yeah, I think that's the same thing. You, you liked them. I definitely liked them right off the bat. Same thing. And as I got to know them even more, 
you know, as time went on, just one of the nicest, oh, yeah. most humble, uh, I mean, the, just, yeah. The best of all of us, Marab. Oh, he's the best of all. As I always say, I learned from Marab, just even how to deal with situations, because he's got such a beautiful perspective coming from where he came from. I think he's just grateful for everything he has, and he's so appreciative that I wish more people had that those kind of attributes. Almost over-appreciative. So nice. Yeah, yeah, too nice. Yeah. yeah. The, the biggest thing is, you know, how he, he handled some of his defeats early in his career. Like, I think I was more upset than he was, and then I would talk to him about it, and he would say, you know, Ray, there's nothing we could change. We could only, you know, react to what we're being dealt with now. And he just always was, like, very calming to me to talk to, because I, I, I used to think I was, lo I was going crazy, because I would be so passionate about, you know, why he lost, and, you know, and he would just put it in perspective, and he always grew from his losses. One of the things I think that he did better than anybody else in the gym was that when he lost, you know, that win or learn, he learned. Marab is just inspiring watching, watching him go. I mean, he almost got to <laughs> try to slow him down, but I mean, I, I don't know. You, any given day, he'll be doing nine rounds, and he's yeah. on a treadmill, he's climbing a rope. I don't know what the hell he's doing. He's just always doing something, and uh, out of that alone, his work ethic is inspiring. And uh, again, we always say he's the heart of the team. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to say, like, for the young guys to look up to Marab, like, there's other fighters that they might tell you something, but it's more of a cliche or it's something they heard. But when Marab talks to these young guys, he keeps it simple. He speaks from the heart, and they, they really appreciate it. He's going to do exactly what got him to this point, right? Uh, this is a really, really tough fight. Uh, for me personally, when I heard it, I was hoping it was a five round fight because I know he could break him in five rounds. Three rounds, I think, you know, Jose Aldo, he's been around long. He's a crafty guy. He still looks great uh, no matter how many fights he has or how old he is. So this is going to be a, a, a very tricky fight. But I think, you know, at the end of the day, Marab will impose his will. And exactly what got him here is what's going to take him to victory. <laughs> Yeah, we told him 7.30. Feel good as you can feel, you know? The clock's ticking, and uh, we're finally here. So, whatever's meant to happen is gonna happen. We put the work in, we did our homework, and that's all you can ask for. Go out there and just perform as best as you can, and hopefully it's our night, and I believe it will be our night. It's really just the unknown. Both guys had an entire training camp, one guy's got to be right, one guy's going to be wrong, so it's just the way the fight game goes. The nerves are kind of dissipating, so I feel very good. He had such a good warm-up today. He looked great and shake out. 
I think that's all he needs to do. He can just be himself. Be what got him here, and I uh, think we'll have a great night. This fight and two more fights on me. How are you feeling? Uh, good, good. I just got this and uh, that's it. I'm gonna warm up now slowly and then I'll be fine. We all do. Yeah. Yes. It may be happening. You know, like I rather go out, sleep, and yes. stop. Please give me chance. Give me whatever you call me. Give me chance to yes. let me fight. You know, if I out, yeah. then I'm out. Okay. Thank so because you know, I came here for a fight. You know, I don't care if I, you know, I, I'm not. You know. So yeah. please, yeah. If it happens, what I do, uh, yeah. If you are in a bad position, yeah. or he's in a bad position. I'm thinking about stopping the fight. I will say, but it's gonna work. Move, or excuse me, I'll say, move, move. What the next step for me is to stop the fight. So if he hits you and you're dropped on the ground and you're taking damage and I'm considering stopping this fight, and you're not unconscious, but you're like trying to work but not giving yourself back, I will tell you, you'll hear me yelling at you, move, fighter, move. What I need to see is this. I need to see intelligent defense. When you get your intelligent defense back, then you need to make the damage stop. I'm going to give you time for that. But if you're unable to do it because he's making space and keeping damage on you, like, or if you do that to him, same thing. I'm going to tell him, move, move. If he cannot stop you from putting damage on him, you stop him heavy. Smash, smash, smash. I must stop fighting. Now, if you cleanly knock him out. Yeah, yeah, of course. That's then we go over and then just the rest of the stuff. If something yeah, comes up, you tell me. Just arm bars tomorrow. And when I'm going to stop the fight, when I'm going to stand you, and what I'll do about that. I'll go over high level. Okay? Major joint manipulation. If I see a fracture or a dislocation, I'm gonna stop. Fighting. I, I know you're very professional, and I know, of course, but I just want to make sure you know, like, just. I will do my best. Yeah, yeah. give me. I will give you a chance. Yeah, yeah, give me more chance, and yeah. otherwise I'll. Follow I'll do everything course. I can to give you okay, cool. every chance. Yes. Okay, cool. I, I think just one, just as like, man. We are in the hole. You didn't get dressed up for nothing. Now. Time, what time? It's Marab time. Yeah, machine time. It's machine time. Nice. Uh, me and my niggas trying to get it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Get that house, yeah, they tell me, is you with it, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Yeah, Home bitch. invasion, what's persuasive? What's persuasive? What's persuasive? From nine to five, I know it's vacant, you bitch. Yeah, bitch. Dreams yeah, bitch. of living life like rappers do. Like rappers do. Like rappers. Back when condom rappers wasn't cool. They wasn't cool. They wasn't. I fucked your rain and went to tell my bro. One is back, pull folding. Nice. Good, Mara. It's all that not to rhyme in your bitch. Your bitch. Park the car, then we start rhyming, your bitch. Your bitch. The only thing we had to free our mind. Free our mind. The ships have been burned. The hay is in the barn. 
The pigeons have left the nest. Four minutes. Four minutes, Rob. Let's go. Come on, Come on. Let's save it for the cage now. We're ready, bro. Come on. Let's fucking do it. Same thing. Same thing. We got it, Rob. Got 15 minutes of hell, Marab. We got to walk in less than four. You want to get ready, man? You're looking good. Hey, you did the work. You did the work. You're Come fucking on, good. You look really good. It's going to be your night tonight. It's going to be your night tonight. Let's go. Yes. So much for easy night, right? Where's the towel? I'm on my Where's the towel, Marab? No, I don't need it. I don't need it. Sure. Yeah, I'm going to feel bad. I promise you need it. I'm going to pretend I did yeah. something. <laughs> Let's fucking go, man. Sure time, Marab. It's Marab time. Yeah. Machine time. Let's fucking go. Come on, Lando's already leaving. He's got to get a head start. He's got to get a head start. No, this is mine. All right. Let's go. Let's go, fuck bastard. Machine's on. Copy my signature. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, I know I was winning, so yeah, yeah. that's no, why. Okay. I can argue. Usually I have a scratch. <laughs> you know, I, and I'm, I don't have I'm, that. I'm surprised at what he did. I really, I'm in shock. He, well, he was slowing down in the second round, and I, I saw one of you guys broke from the clinch, and then he was like this. And I was like, oh, he's tired. Yeah. Yeah. Oh Cause he started doing like showboat, and I'm like, bro, you can't showboat. I know you're tired. We can all tell you're tired. Dude, I think he knew the crowd liked him, and he was trying to like, yeah, what do you mean? I like 
because when he started complaining against the cage, yeah, right. then, then get off the cage. Then get off the cage. It's as simple as that. Don't start looking for the ref. TJ, don't start looking for the ref to tell me to get off. Get off the cage yourself. Yeah, right. What the fuck? Then you go to bed and try to sleep and you just lay, fucking lay there. I don't know what the fuck Jose Aldo was thinking, man. He just froze. What did he do? Jab to the body? What the fuck was he doing? You're saying why was he acting like he won? Yeah. I, I don't know. I think he knew the crowd liked him when he was trying. I don't know what that don't know. Understand. I think it froze? I feel like I almost lost my voice out there. But, uh... Crazy man, just was say exactly what we do in practice. That's what we told him to do. It's like everything that you do in practice with me, with everybody else. There's a reason why everyone gets broken like that, you know. So he can say whatever he wants. He can say the crowd. He can say he just held me against the cage. Your job is to get the fuck off the cage and do damage. You didn't do that. We did the damage. We kept you in control time. That's the win right there. And he knew that was a game plan coming in, other than getting a take a takedown on the actual mat. So he got the one takedown at the end. That's all we need. So. Georgia, let's go, baby. I have homemade butt, and then it's so hard to. Three interviews. All right. That leg break is on his fourth time. Thank you. I know that was legend fight. I know. I mean, I, I would love to you fight him, but. Nah, I don't uh, care, bro. It's <laughs> getting weirder. <laughs> How's that shirt with you, John? Alright. How's your son? He made the team this year? I, they say he wasn't tall enough. All the glitter is my goo. Nah, we, yeah, we gonna cook this son. Nah, goo is not reality. is what you believe. That's your new girl This is family business And this is for the family that can't be with us And this is for my cousin locked down All the answers in us This is why I spit it in my song So sweet like a photo of your granny's picture Now that you're gone, it hit us Super hard on Thanksgiving and Christmas This can't be right Yo, you heard the track I did, man This can't be life Somebody please say grace So I can say faith And have a reason to cover my face I ain't even made to it So fool, know how I can do it Monkey bread on the side Know how the family do it when I brought it, why the car had to look all through it? As kids, we used to laugh. Who knew that life would move this fast? Who knew I'd have to look at you through a glass? And that's family business. Everybody standing with us. Come on, let's take a family Grammy picture. Abby, remember when they ain't believe in me? Now she like, see, that's my cousin on TV. Now we getting it and we gon' make it and they gon' hate it and I'm his favorite. I can't deny it. I'm a straight rider, but when we get together, be electric sliding. Grandma, get him shook up. Oh no, nah, don't open the photo book up. I got a aunt Ruth that can't remember your name, but I bet them hold away to center down memory lane. You know that one aunt. I don't mean to be rude, but every holiday nobody eating the food And you don't wanna stay there, cause them your worst cousins Got roaches at the crib like them your first cousins Act like you ain't took a bath with your cousin Fit three in the bed, if it's six of y'all I'm talking about three by the head and three by the leg But you ain't have to tell my girl I used to pee in the bed Creative way to rhyme without using knives and guns Keep your nose out the sky, keep your heart to God And keep your face to the rising sun All my niggas from the shies, my family dog And my niggas ain't my guys, they my family dog I feel like This guy broke my heart I don't believe that <laughs> Sheila always performing. Second, she storm out. Then he storming. Y'all gon' that was good. You put a lot of pressure. A hundred takedowns. It was.
Very good. Good job. That was good. Try to read. Yeah, you won. Right? Yeah, up. Good job, boy. Really easy. How you feel? All the glitter is not good. It's a big day for Georgia, crazy, crazy. He wrote the history, he wrote the history. Here's the Mirab's brother. So when they raised my hand, uh, I saw Josie Aldo went down, and of course I went to him, like I want to like, respectfully shake his hand and t tell him to thank you so much, and he was told me, thank you, Mirab, that was my last fight, that was my la last run to Taita, but thank you, thank you, and then he said, after this I done, because... I guess we all know that he's not fighting Taita. So, and then that was so hard and so, I don't know, so like crazy big moment for me, you know, like, uh, and I respect him, I love him. And this is, this is the sport, man. This is, uh, this is, I guess I'm a new generation. Uh, the, Josialdo, he's good, he's still good, he's king, but, I think this is my time, it was my time, and uh, maybe he's better than me, maybe he's uh, more experienced, but I want more. You know? I'm hungry, I'm young, and uh, I'm too young. I'm gonna keep fighting, I keep doing my thing.